There are zillions of bathroom products that are out there, whether they're how to clean and organize your bathroom type products or bath and body type products. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorite stuff that exists in these four walls in either category. And some of them are things that I make my own for very, very cheap. Some of them are things that are eco-conscious and have helped me reduce waste. I have so much to show you. So stick around and let's talk bathroom products. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. And in this video, we are gonna be talking about a few DIY recipes. If you're a fan of DIY cleaning recipes, you are gonna love our ebook that contains 50 of my favorites. I've got a link for that down below. You can click on it and check it out. I try to reduce disposable products in the bathroom as much as I can. Now, I'm not going as far as making my own toilet paper and washing it, but there are definitely products that you can swap out for things you're using every day in the bathroom to make more ecologically sound choices. A couple of examples include switching out your plastic razor to a metal razor uh, with replaceable metal razor blade blades. That's something I switched to about three years ago and I've been really happy with the way that it's worked. I also find these razor blades tend to work better than the plastic ones. Uh, if you want to go completely product free or tool free on that, you can switch to body sugaring, which is definitely an adventure in and of itself, but I have tried it and it does work well. The next thing you can move away from is disposable makeup remover products like eye pads and face cloths. These are use them once, they're saturated in product and then you toss them. They're wasteful, we all know it and they're expensive. A great alternative is, of course, the Maker's Luxury Face Cloth. We have, uh, I think we released these about a year ago. I am obsessed with them. I mean, that's why we came out with them. But they uh, remove your makeup or any face treatments. You can use them just to wash your face every single day. You wash them. They are so easy to take care of. Makeup comes out of them. They're gentle and soft on your face. I have not used a disposable makeup remover product since switching to these. I love, love, love them. And we have been getting rave reviews about these. So just a really easy, simple swap out that you can do that will save you from pitching things in the garbage. We were just talking before we turned on the camera about how much we as a team talk about toilet bowl brushes and how utterly abnormal that is. But I have to tell you, there's a toilet bowl brush that I think really makes a difference in the bathroom and it is this one it's by Unger and it's just it's really cleverly designed let me show you why first of all it's open air so you know the whole leave the toilet bowl brush under the toilet bowl lid so that it can drip dry thing that I always talk about well if you don't want to do that this thing is open air so it has circulation and then the bottom uh, will capture any leftover liquid and it's not plastic, it's rubbery, it's easy to clean, it's easy to wipe dry. It also clips into the top, meaning it's not gonna jiggle around and slip around. I mean, again, it's not like a giant problem, but it's annoying enough, right? And then the third thing, the thing that is really cool about this is that half of it is concealed. So if you don't want anyone to have to look at your toilet bowl brush, and let's be honest, who wants to put their toilet bowl brush on display when a guest comes over? No one I know. You can just simply flip it around. And it's like one of those drama faces, you know? Very easy. Such a smart little solution. It was an inexpensive toilet bowl brush. We have it and we like it. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. This winter has been particularly brutal on my skin. So I wanted to find a good body butter recipe. I went right down the rabbit hole and I ended up coming up with this incredible recipe that I have been using on repeat. And I'm telling you, the raw ingredients that I buy are a fraction of the cost of what it would cost me to pick up a good quality, heavy duty body butter that would keep my skin as moisturized as it needs to be during this crazy cold winter. I've put the whole recipe on our website, cleanmyspace.com, and I've added a link for you in the description box down below. I have my own little jar of baking soda in the bathroom that I use for a multitude of purposes 
for different bathroom things. It has replaced several products and saved me a ton of money because of course baking soda is dirt cheap or I should say baking soda cheap at this point. First of all, I use it in lieu of an underarm deodorant or antiperspirant. Now it's awkward, but if you ever meet me, you can smell. There's nothing going on there because baking soda's job is to remove odors entirely to neutralize them and it's fairly gentle on your skin. Now for some people, it's not so gentle on your skin. So you always wanna patch test and make sure it's okay. You don't wanna put it on after you shave, so on and so forth, but it's a great alternative and you should totally give it a try. It's also a really nice uh, mild abrasive. We love it for cleaning for that purpose, but it's also really great if you wanna do a bit of exfoliating either on your face. I actually use it on my lips quite a bit. So I'll just make a little paste and I'll clean up any dead skin on my lips. Rinse and done. Uh, if you have non-color treated hair, you can even add a teaspoon of it to your shampoo and massage your scalp for a nice clarifying wash. There are so many uses for baking soda in the bathroom. It is totally worth keeping a jar in there and saving yourself some money. To whip this up, get a clean spray bottle. You're gonna add a cup of white vinegar, a half cup of water, and 20 drops of tea tree essential oil. Shake it up and spritz this in the shower once you're done. This will dry and the vinegar and the tea tree are really gonna send mold and mildew to the curb or packing or wherever it needs to go. It's just not gonna be in your shower. And for more of those recipes, you can see that recipe book link in the description down below. Toilet seats, again, who's thinking about these? Well, we are because if they're not good, they can be difficult to clean and they can slide around, which makes things uncomfortable. So we really like the Bemis brand of toilet seats for a couple of reasons. First of all, it has a stay tight fastening system. Now, why is this important? Because it prevents toilet seats from sliding around when you are getting down to business and you don't want things to be slippery. Next up, it has hinges that can flip up and allow you to remove the entire toilet seat for easy cleaning. Now, you might think, why do I need that? But if you've ever tried to scrub around toilet seat hinges when they've uh, been actively sprayed on, well, it's a lot of work. So by having the ability to flip up the hinges and remove the seat entirely, it gives you full access to clean every little area you need to. And that's not only visually more appealing, but it gets rid of any hmm, unpleasant scents around the toilet. I haven't seen this enough and I wish I did because there are so many items in a bathroom that need to be recycled and it is really annoying to have to schlep your recyclable item all the way from your bathroom to your recycling bin. So I have had this dual garbage recycling can set up in my bathroom for several years now and I love it. I mean, who loves a garbage can? Me, because it makes it really easy to use. And the way I've set it up is G is for garbage, gray, and white is for recycling. So that's how it works in our house. Toilet paper rolls, packaging, anything that can be recycled goes there. And then of course, the garbage goes in the garbage. It's so much easier to empty. You don't have to sort through yucky bathroom garbage to pick out your recyclables. It makes life so easy and it is a really simple and space-saving solution for the bathroom. The best skincare products are often the ones that have been cooked up in someone's at-home kitchen and then of course manufactured and sold on a large scale for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. That is why I love keeping good quality skincare jars spray bottles, or sometimes just a good jar. For example, my baking soda is in an old spice jar and my DIY body butter, that's in a mason jar. I even reuse a bottle of um, face toner that had a really beautiful package and a really good quality sprayer, and I just refill that with less expensive stuff so I didn't have to buy another spray bottle. I got a glass bottle of toner. Anyway, there are so many different ways that you can find useful ways to repurpose jars. And I wanna be clear here, I'm not saying save all the jars. I'm saying be mindful about the jars that you do save, save them for a purpose, but then make sure that you use them in wise ways so that you're actually reducing waste down the line with other things that you're picking up for the bathroom. It's especially awesome if you do make your own skincare, hair care, body care products. I could have made this list like 
50 items long, but I kept it reasonable. And that brings me to this week's comment question because I wanna know what is the item in the bathroom that you can't live without? What is that one thing that you really love? Is it a DIY product? Is it a store-bought product? A towel, a towel warmer, a, a mat, a body care product? Let me know what you absolutely cannot live without in the bathroom in the comments down below. If you like using things in your bathroom, you probably wanna know how to clean things in your bathroom too. So you can check out this video, which is called how to clean everything in your bathroom. Yes, it's all encompassing. If you wanna support the Clean My Space channel, you can do so by subscribing. You can also visit the Makers Clean website where we sell those wonderful luxury face cloths and so much more. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.